Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back. It is morning for me here in Oregon, and I have another word to record, but uh, the Lord just put on my heart to do a short and put it up one of these afternoons very soon. I think I'll call it We Are Able Because He Is. And, you know, I get, I've been getting a lot of letters. First of all, thank you for your super thanks in the comments up at the top. You click those three dots. I know these are hard days and those donations you give to the channel. I'm very thankful for. And I'm busy send, answering letters that come into the post office and sending uh, uh, coffee and tea back to those that send through the mail. And once you send that cash, then I'll give you my information so you can send a check or a money order, you know. But thank you so very much. I know these are not easy days. In fact, uh, maybe once in a while, I'll do what I call a pep talk, a pep talk like a, a coach at halftime, you know. Uh, when you're doing well, you get that positive pep talk and we are doing well church we are just living in very difficult days amen and if some of you haven't caught on yet that these are the last of the last days then i'm going to tell you we are in the last of the last days i've lived a very long time i've had these gifts a very long time and um the Lord is just being more and more direct about the time that we are living in through through these words. And you know this, you're, you know, some of you are on here every day and you know this, you recognize this. So <clears throat> I just want felt led by the spirit to come on today. I, I get your letters. I hear your uh your comments, and we do have a lot of new believers. We have a lot of old timers right up there with Jackie or close to it. And I'm very thankful because you folks are praying. You've been through life as I have been through life. Uh, and yet we are even surprised at this day that we are living in. So those are the kind of letters I get from my uh, older uh, viewers, you know, even these days are surprising to us. So I'm saying these things so that I might encourage all of us as a church. We're all in this together. If you need to write to me and just air, that's why I know the Holy Spirit you know, directed me to open that post box. You folks are writing to me about what you're going through. And then I'm able to pray more in, de uh, in depth. Uh, and I'm, you know, starting a new prayer card. And I'll never embarrass anybody with too much information for Monday prayer, but I will, you know, uh, share the prayer needs uh, with the viewers so that we can pray on Mondays and other days together. Amen. So I wanted to just take a moment and I guess I'll title this, We Are Able Because He Is. And we are seeing more and more transpire, more and more unpredictability in our life. Amen. And, you know, us human beings, we do better when we have, when we're walking on level ground and we have things that we can depend on, right? And right now, for this moment in time, you know, until the rapture comes, we can depend on the moon tonight and perhaps the sunrise tomorrow. And we don't even know about that church, do we? And that is our hope. If we don't see another sunrise, that means we're gone in the rapture with our blessed hope. And that day is soon coming. What we're seeing now, church, is the snowball rolling down the hill. And it's going to get so large, it's going to uh, get out of their grip. And you know who I'm talking about when I say they, their grip, okay? The leaders of this world, okay? The minions of Satan. Right now, things are, that snowball is getting so huge, they will lose control. And that will lead the man, the man of the hour, to come into the scene, the Antichrist. That will be his name. We know him as the Antichrist. Amen. That will be their savior. The confusion, um, the unpredictability, what they have uh, planned and caused is going to get out of their grasp. 
We can see it. I deal on this platform. I, I am in the inner workings of all of this new technology, and I don't know what I can say and what I can't say anymore, but you know the new technology that they're pushing, okay? That's this month. It'll be something different in six months, amen? It's moving so fast. And so that's a supernatural move from God. He's allowing this to transpire because things have to get out of control before their Savior, the false antichrist comes into the stage of the world he will be the only one in their perverted minds that can straighten things out and you see it coming you see it happening so i say these things church to you today to encourage you we are in the last of the last days and i know i'm spe speaking to the choir i know many of you in other nations in the west are even ahead of us with the noose tightening amen uh, but it's coming. It's coming everywhere. Some of those countries are in the training zone for the for the evil ones. OK, so you're ahead of us. You're ahead of us up north of us. Amen. But it's coming worldwide. And the, sh the word that I got the other day, a week or so ago about a shift coming, it's happening. It's coming. But we know it. We know it. We know what's happening here. What's what it was like in the fields, in the farmer's fields in the olden days, right? When Christ walked the earth, where the farmer would throw up the grain and the good grain would be separated from the bad grain. And this is what's happening, church. The remnant is being pulled out. Amen. So the encouragement that we have one for another, the outlet that we have on this channel to write. That's why I started the post box. It's like a parallel ministry. There's more of an outlet there. You can share your heart there. Um, we need each other. If you can find a church in your city uh, with that's preaching the word so that you can be surrounded by other Christians and have the love of Christ surrounding you, that would be very good. There are so few churches that are speaking the word. You make sure that they speak of the Old Testament, the New Testament, the resurrection, amen, the blood of the Lamb. Everything has to line up according to Scripture. People vary on the rapture, but I, I myself... I don't know how you can deny uh, the time of the rapture is just about upon the final church. Right now, that snowball is running down that hill so fast they will lose grip and then their savior will walk into the scene. We are that close. So I wanted to just take a few minutes to encourage you today what you see, what you understand, what you're lining up according to scripture, you are right on. Our blessed hope is almost here. And the way we can, uh, uh, we're going to be attacked. They are going to increase church. If you are getting pounded by the enemy, I have been pounded by the enemy the last couple of weeks. That means you're in the center of God's will. If you're not pounded by the enemy, you're, you're not in a place where you're a threat to the enemy. And so I say that not to scare you, but to encourage you. And sometimes we go through these peaks and valleys. And, and that doesn't mean we're not born again. We're not saved if we're in a very peaceful place in our life. Of course not. That just means that we're, we're you know, approaching the mountaintop and it's a good time, a time of peace. Our Holy Spirit does not beat us to death. Amen. Our Holy Spirit takes good care of us. Amen. So. I just wanted to give you a little pep talk today. I wanted to encourage you today. Um, you know, yes, these are uncertain days. Uh, you know, I was thinking the other day, I don't know how many of you have uh, been on a powerful earthquake, right? Where you that the land starts to shake, and I'm talking probably a seven point whatever, six point nine, six seven point one or two. I think I was in a seven point two at one time, 
when that rumbling starts, it seems like it goes on forever, right? But when that, sometimes they roll quickly, sometimes they're fast jerks. When you are in that earthquake and you think, wow, I can get out of my bed and get over here. They used to say, go to a, you know, a door jam and hold on, you know, or something or get away from windows. And you would say in the midst of that one minute, 40 second earthquake. Well, if I, I'll just get over there and that'll give me more safety. Well, when you're in a powerful earthquake like that, you can't move. <laughs> so sometimes you have to ride it out. You're just, I, I remember once I tried to run up to my kids and we were holding on to each other. My husband was in front of me. We were both trying to hold on to the banister to get upstairs to check on the children. You know what I mean? But we couldn't even make it upstairs with all the movement. So these are the kind of days that we're living in church. Uncertainty, uncertainty in our finances, uncertainty. Some of us have health issues, uncertainty in our medical care. Uh, uncertainty in our homes, our rents, our property taxes. But you know what? That's when we learn more and more to cling to Christ. The more uncertainty, the closer we go to God, because all the all the little freebies are taken away from us. All, uh, you know, the jobs, the finances, one by one, they're taken away. And then when we begin to be stripped of this world, we then cling to God and grow in God as never before. So I just wanted to take a minute, give you a little pep talk. We're in halftime here. And uh, you're doing a great job. You're a strong body. You encourage me. You pray for me. You are such a blessing in my life. I love you all very much. And I feel the same way about you. We're in this together. As this world is stripped away piece by piece until he comes, we're going to cling to Christ more and more. And when we cling to Christ more and more, then we are growing. We are going to know him more and more. His grace and his mercy will flow over us more and more because we are going through the struggles of these last days. And no one understands it more and no one cares for us more than our almighty God. God. So we're at halftime, church. You're doing a great job. I want to encourage you. We're going to, if anything comes across this in the comments, we don't have many negative comments. I get rid of them quick because this channel is here to build up the body, to build up the body, to build up the last day's church, to fill you to overflowing as only this vessel, as I'm only a vessel, through the Holy Spirit is only able to do. That's what God does. He uses only his people. For, you know, every one of us, somebody was writing to me the other day, Jackie, I'm so flawed. Every one of us, our church, we are going to struggle in this flesh until we meet him. It'll never go away. So be encouraged today. I'm here for you. The post box is there. Uh, leave your comments and others that see these comments will pray for you. And folks, if you read a comment that touches your heart, please pray for that person and give them a thumbs up so that they know someone has seen their call. Amen. We're all in this together. We're in the last of the last days. Amen. And God is with us. We are shedding this world off of our shoulders and growing more and more in his power, in his anointing, in his wisdom. And that's because we are, you know, walking on this shaky ground. The earthquake is happening. The earthquake in this time is happening and God is allowing it. They will soon tumble and be. they will lose all control. That's the snowball going down that hill. They will not be able to stand. And God is allowing it. God's in it. And I know I'm speaking to the choir. But I just wanted to give, like the coach at halftime, I wanted to give you a little pep talk today just to lift you up, to encourage you, and to pray for you that our God is on the throne. And he is moving in your life. And his blood covering is upon you. And his power and anointing lives within you. Thank you, Lord. Almighty God, I 
pray blessings for each one listening today, Lord God. I pray you lift them up, Lord God, where they have come in from the world, perhaps been beaten up by the enemy today at their job, Lord God. And Lord, I pray right now that your Holy Spirit, as I lay hands on them tonight, Lord God, or this day, whether they be starting their day or closing their eyes, Lord God, that you would touch their bodies, that you would heal their bodies, that you would comfort them, God, that you would send peace across the airways, Lord God, and that they would realize that they were chosen for such a day as this, and they are your anointed, and the power and might of your Holy Spirit lives in them, moves through them, and they are called your anointed. Be with each one today. Lift them up. Comfort them. Bless them, Lord God. Fill up their pantries, Lord God. Fill up their pockets. Every dollar, will it be like a hundred dollars in those pockets, Lord God? And that you would heal their body. You would take their pain today, this moment in time, and lift them up, Lord God. Touch them supernaturally in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you as light shine upon you. In Jesus' name. God bless.